Good Monday morning, everybody, and thanks for musing with me this week. And what I want you to muse about for today and for the week is about a story's plot line. How do you tell stories to yourself? Probably when you were in elementary school or middle school, you learned that stories are supposed to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. And I definitely think simple stories like Cinderella have that. But there are other stories that we need to tell ourselves that are a little more complicated. For example, as we think about students graduating, it would be easy to say they begin on the first day of kindergarten and they end when they walk across uh, the, the aisle with their diploma after college. But there's at the very least chapters that divide up that beginning and middle and end that make that story more complicated. Uh, growing up, it, the story of coming to faith was easy. You were a dirty, rotten sinner, you find Jesus, and then you go on to be a missionary or in heaven or whatever the case may be. But that story is more complicated too. Uh, I would say now there's no point along that timeline where we don't imagine God being with us. And when we think about the coronavirus or a lot of the stories in scripture, we realize that we are always in the middle of a bigger story. God's bigger story. And so in our desperate circumstances and the things that feel hard for us, like the coronavirus, I think it's important to retell the story so that we are in the middle of what God is doing. And God is in the middle and in the midst of whatever we may go through with us. So how do you tell your stories? Maybe you can think about that a little bit this week, and I'll see you next Monday.